All right, Will here with Into Mobile. We're at the Qualcomm booth taking a look at All Join. It's a peer-to-peer uh, -peer, uh, framework technology that allows you to allows devices like phones, computers, tablets, whatever, uh, lets them talk to each other um, uh, on cross platforms, uh, across uh, different uh, connection protocols, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, even the web. Um, I'm here with Matthew. He's going to tell us a little bit more about All Join and what uh, what All Join can do for you. Perfect. Um, we have an example here of AllJoin, actually. We've integrated it into the web browser on Android and exposed it via JavaScript. And the idea is to really simplify adding peer communications to browser applications. So, so this is, this is uh, we're, we're seeing peer to peer over the web with no, yeah. there's no Bluetooth or Wi-Fi going on. It's all over the web. No, this is actually a combination of integrating local connectivity over Wi-Fi with a service on the web. So it's actually an integration of the two. Okay. Let me explain what we're doing here. On the left-hand side, we have an image gallery. And think of this image gallery as maybe a Flickr gallery or a photo bucket gallery somewhere out on the web. Each device has its, its own gallery that it can view. So we've got four different galleries here. And then on the right-hand side is a list of the peers. And what you see is that each peer can see what every other peer is viewing even though it's in a oh, different so gallery. Oh, so Bubba's looking at the yellow flower, Bubba's so this would be Bubba flowers. right here. Now, if Rob, this device, wants to, to experience and share that with Bubba, he can simply click on it, and that image from the web is shared locally over a peer connection with so Bubba. So, Rob, this guy just pulled this image from this guy's phone. Exactly. He pulled the URL to the image that loaded it. So it's in the browser, it's trading URLs and images. But Rob never had to navigate out to the web. The user never had to go visit that website. It was all done over a peer connection. So what we've done is integrated a local peer experiences with people around me with what they're experiencing out in the web. Great. And uh, well, so that's that's uh, photo sharing. Um, all join uh, uh, powered photo sharing. Is there are there any other uh, uh, use cases we can demo? Well, there are exactly. There's a lot of different things you can do with all join. One thing that becomes probably pretty apparent to most people initially is multiplayer gaming. Right? Yes. So when I get together with a few friends, we're at a coffee shop or in a library or bookstore, we sit down, we pull our devices out, and we play a game. The beauty of all join being cross-platform hardware independent and OS independent is you can have smartphones uh, participate in the game with laptops. In this case, we have an example of a Windows laptop um, running all join, and we have two uh, Android uh, smartphones uh -huh. participating, in, participating in a real-time multiplayer and that, game. And that's, uh, this that's is them the actually remoted, playing. Okay. This is the remoted uh, PC display. So each device represents one player. It's a game of tag. Um, and essentially, they're all playing real time with virtually uh, no latency and in sync, all over Wi-Fi or a combination of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Excellent. So that that shows that you can do truly cross-platform here. We got Android OS and Windows going on. Indeed, and we've ported it to Linux, and we've actually um, ported it to MIMO as well. So we've got multiple devices that are participating, and the project is open source. So the code is there, and it's there for anyone to uh, port and integrate on any other platform in any other OS environment that they may want to. Great. Sounds good. So that's a quick little look at what all join can do as a peer-to-peer -peer technology uh, across uh, devices, platforms, and uh, pro uh, communication protocols.